Hey there, welcome. This is Laura from Internet Lifestyle Network, and I'm excited to be bringing you some more value from Mark Hoverson's teaching in the Solomon CEO training um, that we have access to, and I'm really happy to share it with you because it's so, so important, so valuable. Now, this particular training I'm about to talk about is called Swarming Splendor, and some of the ideas here build on the last one that I made a video about called Futuristic Otaku. Um, and a couple core concepts. One to, one to begin with is that we want to start to become, you know, as, as we're pursuing our dream and building a business, we want to start to become very comfortable with the idea of splendor and good things coming into our life, things that feel emotionally and in, inspirational and physically exciting to us. And, and to, um, you know, not only become comfortable in, with those things, but imagine ourselves like feeling into that because when we do, we make those things, we make ourselves available for those things to come into our life. If you can't imagine what it would be like to be very successful and have the things that you want, then you're likely not going to have that, unfortunately. And so that's a really key place to start from. Um, and, the, and the bigger core issue here, or concept, I should say, is um, the idea that, you know, as we're building something of value that has integrity, we want to be attracting just multitudes of people into our business. But when I say that, I want to qualify it with, we want to be attracting multitudes of the right kind of people. Um, you know, and again, this is something I touched on in the last video, but we're not looking for warm bodies just to get people through the door. We're looking to build long lasting relationships. What we are offering in our businesses and our products should have so much value that we, our, our clients would want their children to benefit from what it is we have to offer. So <clears throat> I had a lot of planes going over today. We're just gonna have to ignore that. So, <laughs> um, so how do we do that? How do you attract um, and maintain and nurture a multitude of people into your life and business that you have long lasting quality relationships with that you truly, truly serve? Um, you know, one, uh, one thought to take away is that we want, we want whoever it is that we're serving to be deeply satisfied. We want them to be more than fans, but just so um, moved by what it is that we're providing and, and bringing into their life that they become like evangelists for us advocates. They want their friends to come experience what's happening. That's how powerful and important it is. Um, you know, another idea is uh, we want this population to, you know, you want to imagine just good things coming and pouring and roaring into your bank account and your business and versus um, having, you know, what Mark calls one night stand kind of situations where people just kind of pop into your business and pop out. We don't want that again. We want long lasting longevity in, um, that's a little bit redundant, but we want long lasting relationships with the people that we're serving. Um, so, you know, in, in doing that then, we want these people to be um, nurtured, these people that we, um, you know, have become, become part of our business and our life and our legacy and our dream. We want to nurture them, feed them, affirm them, um, and constantly bring them value. That's really a core, core thought here. And so, um, always a part of, you know, Mark's training, and this is a bigger part of this particular teaching, is the integration. Like, how do you then put yourself in the real life situation to create this dynamic? Um, so there's some questions to ask yourself to be quite, on, you know, very honest, and I encourage you to write these down and actually take the time to answer them. You know, the first one would be, who are the living legends in your niche? Um, who are the superstars? And if they spent time with you, would they be impressed? Um, does the current level of the work that you're doing right now, um, would it impact them and, and again, impress them? Um, you know, and if the second question is, if you, if, if you had all the resources in the world, like what would you do to improve what it is that you're doing now and to um, better the quality of what it is that you're providing? Um, you know, really important part, point that Mark makes that I want to drive home is that if your goal right now is just to pay bills and get out of debt, um, you're not ready for massive wealth and success to come into your life. That's too short-sighted. It's too selfish. Um, it should be instead that, uh, you know, the purpose, you know, the purpose of prosperity is not a personal thing. It's, it's personal fulfillment plus contribution plus allowing others to step into a better um, and greater reality for themselves. It should be more than about just you. Otherwise, it's, it's not going to come into your life. Um, another question is just, you know, what is your daily revenue? Most people don't know that and what you measure will grow in your life. It's just uh, a phenomenon that's, that's true. And um, <clears throat> let's see, 
I'm going to summarize some of this because there's so many questions, you guys, and I don't want to go on and on and on. But, you know, some other things to ask yourself is what are the kind of people that you do want to attract into your business? What are they like? Who are they? Um, what type of person are they? Um, you know, uh, also when you are bringing people in to whatever it is you're doing, do you have a very scalable process, something that's easy for them to understand and learn and adhere to and um, duplicate? I know that's a big thing that gets thrown around the industry, but it's it's really valid and it's really important. Um, otherwise, what you're building is not going to withstand the test of time. So, um, again, you know, tons and tons of questions in here, but the last, I'm going to skip down to the last one, so I'm not making a 20 minute video here, but a really, you know, very important question to ask is, will the world be a better place if you mastered the art of multiplying and, and growing your business um, and became a success? If my heart's desires were unleashed on the world, would it be a better place? And that's a really, um, I think it's a question that you have to really search your soul and be very honest in your heart with, is are your motives and your goals for what you're doing in your business more than about just yourself and will they really have an impact on the world and if they if the answer to that is yes well then you're on your way to building something that um, the world is ready for and needs and wants and therefore you're going to have success and it'll be long lasting and and um, the world will be a better place because you pursued your dreams and in a way you owe it to the world to do that that's what i took away from this so um you know as always i'm going to put the link to my facebook page below this video I'd really like to hear from you and message me, send me a friend request. Um, also, I'm going to put a link in some information so that you can access some of this training yourself for free for seven days. Um, see if, you know, Internet Lifestyle Network and my team within it, Limitless Lifestyle Movement, are a good fit for you. There's everything you need there. There's nobody that comes there that ends up just on their own, stuck and lost, you know. So with that, I'm going to wish you a really great day, and I'll see you in the next video.